In this video, the danger of praying for what you want before you pray, before you pray to God, before you pray for what you want, before you pray for the universe, you have to watch this video. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and let's dive right into it. Here's how most people pray. Please, God, help me. Please, I need money. Please, I want to meet my soulmate. Please, please, God, if you're out there and you do this for me, I promise I'll do this back. And we pray like this, which is, you're, it's very, 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 I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very difficult to get what you want like that. Because you're operating from an entire place of consciousness of one being separate from God and two being separate from what you want. If God is out there in the sky somewhere and you're like, hey God, could you help me? And what you want is way over there. Hey, could you bring that thing over there to me? Then the entire premise of that is based off of the idea that you're separate from God and you're separate from what you want. What you want actually wants you. Comment down below, what I want wants me. Comment that down below, what I want wants me. So what is everything? Everything is energy, right? That's all ever, anything is. The wall is energy, anything that you want. Think of what you want. Money, house, car, soulmate, relationship, dream job, better health, different reality. What is it? It's everything is energy. That's all it is. Well, there's only one originating substance of this energy. It has a bunch of different forms and frequencies. We're all different frequencies of this energy. What is this energy? You can call it God. You can call it spirit. You can call it more scientific. You can call it consciousness. You can call it Allah. You can call it anything you want to call it. You could call it a uh, Hector. It doesn't matter what, <laughs> it doesn't matter what you call it. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. It's not the word. It's the energy system behind it. And this energy system has created the stars. It's created the universe. It's uh, put the intelligence of who you think about this. You are in a tiny little like protoplasm thing from dad inside a microscopic thing. And then you became you. It had your eye color inside of it. It had uh, where, how your teeth were gonna look. It had your, it had everything. It had exactly what your skin complexion was gonna look like. It had everything about you inside of it. It was this perfect intelligence. And so what is this energy that spins the stars perfectly, that is created a, a beautiful system that's allowing your heart to beat right now. Like you didn't like while you're watching this, you're not like, hold on one sec, Jake, I was listening, but uh, hey, heart, heart, can you just make sure you keep beating? Or like you've never walked up to someone and, they, and you've been like, how are you? And they're like, I'm exhausted today. Why? Well, it's really hard to remember to beat, beat my heart every second. And it's taking all my energy to remind myself to do it. It just happens automatically, right? You don't even do it. <laughs> and we're the perfect distance away for life on earth. All of these things. So what is this, this God energy? What are the qualities of it? Love. It loves us so much that it's created this perfect universe. It's perfection. It spins the stars perfectly. It spins earth perfectly. It's for constant expansion. Well, it's in every single thing because it created everything. This consciousness is in everything, but it's just different frequencies. There's only one thing called sound, but there's a bunch of different frequencies of sound. There's just a bunch of different frequencies, just like that's all there is, 89.4 and, and 90.6, it's different frequencies of sound. We're all different manifestations of, of God or of the perfection of the universe or of this divine intelligence. That's all we are. So the money you want or the love you want or the house you want or the car you want or the job you want or anything you could possibly want, you're already one with it. You're just a different frequency of it. You know, in the Bible it says the kingdom of heaven is within. It was actually telling us the truth because everything within you 
is God? Is the universe? Is this intelligence? Remember, Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. We call it Hector for the rest of this video if you want. Hector is within you. I'm just joking. And, but you can call it anything you want. So it's right there within you. And it's within everything else. So in the Bible it says to those that have, more will be given. But most people pray like this though. They pray the latter half of that statement. It says, to those that have, more will be given. And to those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away. And they pray like this. Please, I'm all alone. Come on, just give me somebody. God, please, I want to meet us. I want romance. God, I need help with my bills. God, help me. But to those that have, more will be given. To those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away. So the consciousness is already in a place of separation from God. So the miracle working presence of the universe that grows your fingernails, beats your heart, spins the earth the perfect distance around the sun. Have you ever thought about the fact that the earth never falls out of rotation of the sun? It just always works. And by the way, we're all also simultaneously spinning through infinite space at the same time while we're spinning perfectly around the sun. That miracle working presence not only created every cell of your body, every tissue of your brain, but it's within all of it and it's within everything else. So comment down below, the miracle working presence is within me. Comment down below, the miracle working presence is within me. Do you hear what I'm saying? The miracle working presence, like everyone pretty much can agree. Wow, this life is a miracle. This thing is really magical. That miracle working presence that we're all in awe about, it is you. You're an extension of it. And it is everything that you want. It is the money you want. It is the house you want. It is the car you want. It is the soulmate you want. It is the goal you want. It is the life you want. It is everything that you want and it's in everything that you want. So if everything is one and the spiritual qualities of this whole universe, what are the spiritual qualities of this intelligence that has created everything? Perfection, right? It's spinning perfectly around earth. Um, it is totally abundant. It's for the, the universe is always expanding. It's like new galaxies are birthed every single day. It's like, it's, it's literally for endless expansion, total infinite abundance. And because you are not only one with it, you are that miracle working presence. Then you're meant to follow the same trajectory. So the abundance that you want, wants you. The love that you want, wants you. It's not separate from you, it wants you because it's just, we're all one with it, we're just different frequencies of it. But most people go into their prayers and they go, God, the, and they're doing it from lack, instead of from a place of already having that within you and expressing your gratitude for it, and more specifically, speaking it into existence. Because all the energy that ever was and ever will be already exists, it's just that frequencies that we can't see. So the money you want, anything you want, the soulmate you want, it already exists. It just isn't in your field of consciousness yet. Most namely because for whatever reason, up until this moment, not anymore, but for whatever reason, you might have been blocking this miracle working presence that's already within you. So now say it, I am the miracle working presence in all things that I would like done. Say it, I am so grateful that financial abundance flows into my life. You don't need to see it with your eyes to feel it in your heart. In fact, if you need to see it with your eyes, then you're gonna keep waiting because you're in a consciousness of, I don't have it, I don't have it, see? Look, I, you don't understand. Look, right? Can you see? Are you, can you see? Look, I don't have it. Look, look with your eye, right? And we stay in that. So take a deep, big, deep breath in and breathe out. You're already one with what you want. And this perfection of the universe is not only on your side, it's one with you but it gives you whatever you ask for. And most people say, well, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to have a bad financial situation. I didn't ask 
to to uh, for this, but we're doing it in prayer. We're doing it in consciousness. Because to those that have, more will be given. And to those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away. So here's what I'm inviting you to do. Say this. What I want wants me. How could it not want you if it's just a different manifestation? It's just a different frequency of the same God energy and your spiritual DNA of your soul, all the qualities of the cells of every part of your body is for perfection, love, happiness, and abundance. So you want love? It's already one with you. It already wants you. You want abundance? It's already one with you. It already wants you. But you have to speak it. You have to say so before it becomes so. Comment down below, say so before it becomes so. Comment down below, say so before it becomes so. So I titled this video, Before You Pray For What You Want, Watch This Video. That's because if you continue to pray from a place of not having what you want and thinking you're separate from God and thinking you're separate from what you want and under the assumption that what you want does not want you, you will continue to attract that. So now, pray instead. Of, we think of prayer as, I want to bring something into my life that doesn't currently exist. What I invite you to do is start thinking of prayer as expressing your gratitude for what you already are and what you already have. It may not be things that you see with your eyes because you say, well, I don't have the money. I don't have the soulmate. I don't have the job. Yeah, but you have it in consciousness. Yeah, but you have it in your spiritual DNA. So say it. I'm so grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for all of this. Comment down below, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And then fill in the blank for what it is that you are manifesting. Manifesting meaning it already exists and now you're ready for it. Now you're speaking it into existence because you are ready for it. Because you know what you want wants you. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, if you haven't yet, I created a technology called The Second Mind. It's right there down below. It's free to demo, thesecondmind.com. See, because the first mind is the one, the brain gets wired to all these, I'm separate from what I want, and then it memorizes all the emotions of the past about how you can't attract money and how you're not good enough and how you can't attract your soulmate and how you're unlovable and how bad things always happen. Whatever it is, with the thing the person said to you this one time, it all gets memorized and it, it, it gets recorded and it becomes the way the brain habitually operates. And neuroscience is called Hebb's Law. It says that nerve cells or brain cells that fire together, they wire together. So it, it literally creates the neurocircuitry of our brain. It's called the first mind. That's the one that's been conditioned to think I'm separate from God, I'm separate from what I want, what I want doesn't want me, and little old me, no, 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 no. You, not only are you a divine being, what you want wants you, the miracle working presence of the universe is within every single cell of your body. In fact, you are it. You're a manifestation of it. And when you're operating from this place, your whole life can change. So I created a, a technology called the second mind that will retrain the brain to live from that place. To those that have, more will be given. Your brain starts living from that place and then you start attracting things easier. It's thesecondmind.com right there down below. It's free to demo, thesecondmind.com right there down below. That's thesecondmind.com right there down below. So go ahead, demo that for free. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification right over there. Comment down below what I want wants me and then say this to yourself and then ask yourself, what do I mean by this? The miracle working presence is within me. What do I mean by that? Think about that for the rest of the day. And not only think about it, see if you could feel the truth of it within your body. What does it mean? The miracle working presence is within me. And it's within everything that you want too. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. If you dig this, make sure you like the video um, because that's what sends it out into the YouTube universe for more people to see it. So like this video right over there and then the second mind right there down below and comment down below the miracle working presence is within me the miracle working presence the same miraculous energy and intelligence that spins us perfectly around the sun grows the universe constantly is within every cell of your body and you can channel it with your own thoughts 
And that's exciting because then it goes from, God, please help me, universe, I hope, I wish, it'd be nice if, to, I'm a divine being. I'm so grateful that financial abundance flows into my life. I'm so grateful that everything I do prospers. I'm grateful that I am love. Therefore, I know at the perfect time, my, my amazing soulmate is coming. I'm, 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 I'm attracting this. And it goes from not allowing the outside world to control your thoughts. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Meaning, just because I can't see the evidence doesn't mean it's an evidence of lack. It's just energy that you can't see yet. You're, the possibilities are there. So go like this. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.